Hey guys, my name is Rizgresser, and I'm going to play some Payday 2 today. Now, if you're familiar with my channel, you're probably wondering where my face cam is. Well, this is kind of an experiment to see if games like this or Team Fortress 2 wouldn't necessarily need face cam, because in my opinion, I don't feel that they do, and it can be just a little bit more of a pain for me to record those games with face cam. In addition to that, my webcam has been having some issues lately, if you've been aware, with freezing and stuttering and that sort of thing, especially with high intensive games like Payday 2, so I'm going to try not to have my webcam see how this works out, but this is Payday 2, as you can see, I've gone infamous five times, and I'm level 100, ready to go infamous again. If you're not familiar with Payday 2, the way that I best describe it to friends who ask or whatever is I say it's kind of like Left 4 Dead, where you have four people multiplayer, you have waves of enemies, you have common infected or the common police officers, and the specials like smokers, hunters in Left 4 Dead, and then you have tasers and cloakers in Payday 2, that kind of thing, the tank, the bulldozer, etc, etc. Um, Left for dead, of course, you're going to try to reach the safe house, and in Payday 2, you have different objective objectives depending on which mission you take on. So we're going to take on a little random mission here. Let's just see what pops up really quickly, and then we could take it on. And right now, um, yes, I am doing Crime Night offline, so it's just going to be me and, you know, the two random AI that they place with me. And the AI, I honestly hate them. I basically just keep them around for a little bit of a meat shield. And, um, on the off chance that they can actually get me up from a cloaker or save me from a taser, a special, you know, that kind of thing. Um, if this next one isn't one I like, I'll just buy one. Alright, I'm just gonna buy a contract, hold on. Okay, so I chose Hoxton Breakout, and unfortunately, it didn't cross my mind that when you actually buy a mission, it immediately takes you to this page, so I can't actually show you my skill trees yet. But in case you're curious and you know what I'm talking about, I am mostly a mastermind and enforcer right now, so I have Inspire Aced, and, um, I have... Overkill, I think it's called. It gives you more damage, like 75% more damage with a shotgun kill. That kind of thing. You can't get any assets for this mission. So, my loadout, I have the 50 cal sniper rifle, mostly to take out shields, dozers, and other snipers. And the GSPS 12 gauge shotgun. I've heard that the locomotive shotgun is, like, better all around, but this is honestly the very first shotgun that I've tried, and I just liked it, so I've stuck with it. Um, I have the electrical brass knuckles for my melee. I think that it tases people temporarily, though I rarely use it. Um, I have the combined tactical vest. Even though I'm all the way at the top of Enforcer, I never actually got the skill Iron Man to get the improved combined tactical vest, but I kind of like this one just because of the speed it allows me, you know, to be able to run around and whatever I may need to. And I currently have two ammo bags. They have an additional 200% ammo in them. I could take two doctor bags, and it's honestly really rather tempting. Um, I'm not sure. Actually, considering there are no droppable assets, and in case I get grayed, I'm gonna take this because usually I get enough ammo just from enemy pickups. You know, you kill enemies, they drop ammo, etc., etc. So, let's go! Another thing I should point out, if you're not familiar with this game, is that it is... It is pretty mature. I mean, you're the bad guys, essentially. You're the criminals in this, and you're killing a bunch of cops. There's cursing, there are drug references. If you're not cool with that, now would be the time to back out of this. If you are cool with it, well hey, you could stick around. Why not? You know, enjoy yourself a little bit more. So here are the AI. I got Wolf and Bodie on my team. Let's go. Huh. So I've never actually recorded Payday. I'm not sure what the frame rate's gonna be like, but hopefully it'll stay pretty good for you guys. All right, open, open. Let's go, let's go, let's go. In my experience, <laughs> um. This isn't an easy mission for me, by any means, especially, you know, on Overkill by myself. Um, but I have done it before. A lot of it, I think, is honestly just kind of luck of the draw. Whether your teammates will be able to help you, um, like what kind of spawns you find, that kind of thing. Like, up ahead, there's gonna be a parking garage where I'm gonna have to pick a lock. Since it's just me, there are a lot of doors, and there's only one correct room, you know? Uh, it just kind of depends on whether I pick the right one first off. Not necessarily first off, but you know what I mean, right? Like, pretty early on. But yeah, I got- Ah! Taze! No! So this is like one of the special infected I was referring to, you know? To again, keep the um, comparison to Left 4 Dead going. Alright. Keeping this truck going. I mean, I don't have to do anything until it stops and I have to signal it. Try not to stay out when they open for too long so I can get my armor back. That's the white ring around my green health in the bottom right corner. White ring is the armor. Alright, signaling him again. Q. 
keep this going. Try not to die. Poker back there. That's another special. And they're actually called special units, I believe. Uh oh. Uh oh. Come on, Gabe, stop lagging. There we go. Okay, got the cloaker. That's my sniper, just modified with a pretty normal scope, actually. I could have shouted at him because I have Inspire Aced. Could have shouted to get him up instead. But um, being flashbanged, I just did not want to try that. Yeah, hold on, truck guy. I'm sorry. Thankfully, the sniper rifle has pierced, so I can get through the shields. Again, one of the main reasons that I have the sniper rifle with me. Alright, come on, guys. There we go. Alright, back to this electrical box. See if we can get those bollards down for our truck. There we go. I mean, I don't think there's any other electrical box. Like, I think it is just this one, so it wasn't like I got lucky or anything. So I tried to increase the shotgun's accuracy so I could actually take people out at a bit of a range, even though it's a shotgun. And I think a lot of what helps with that is, um, you know, if I get a kill with the shotgun for like 5 seconds, I think, I have a 75% damage boost, and so just like anything that hits does a reasonable amount of damage. There we go. No, hey, die. Okay. Oh, we're going this way. Oh, I thought we were turning. My bad. Wind these up. And over here. Is that sniper? That's a sniper. One sec. And there we go. <laughs> Oftentimes, when I'm aiming with the sniper rifle, instead of moving the mouse to line it up, I just like walk. <laughs> you know, strafe side to side kind of thing. Maybe it's not the most efficient, but. I don't know, I have trouble... I think my mouse sensitivity is a little too high to properly deal with sniper rifles. So I kind of have to use that workaround. These guys are still coming up. Got the taser, at least. I mean, one of the main concerns of getting those specials is because these guys, the AI, they will lag behind. And as soon as they get caught, you know, they're screwed. If I got caught by a taser, I could get my way out of it. Um, because, you know, when you're being tased, you cannot move, and you start expending all of your ammo just because, you know, your muscles are all flexed and you're still pressing down on the trigger. But you can try to aim. Oh, there's a dozer over there. See that big dude? Yeah. You can try to aim at the date or taser's head. Let's see. Okay, dozer down. That's what I love about the sniper rifle. If you get two headshots... Most dozers go down. I think every one but the one on Death Wish, which is the highest difficulty. But I'm on Overkill, second highest, so I don't really have to worry about that. That would be called a Skull Dozer. I think an Elite Bulldozer, too, is another name for it. Oh, good, we got this turret truck. The AI are terrible with that, so I'm gonna try to take that down as quickly as I can for them. Oh, time to go in. I didn't realize the truck was already up here. We got the ticket, we got the gate. Come on, guys. You too, Wolf. If you couldn't tell by now, those of you who actually know this game, I'm currently playing as Jimmy. So, yeah. I don't know, I... I don't so much love the cocaine aspect of Jimmy, but I like his... I don't know, I like his personality. Him being hyper and everything. But yeah, this is one of the doors that might... Uh, we're looking for a computer console, and there are just all these doors in this parking garage along the ramps and everything. One of them, again, will have a computer console, which we have to hack in order to get the bollards down so we can keep the truck going. Down. And this was not it. On the ground. Just gonna get that hostage real quick. Take care of these guys. I don't have any lockpicking skills in this build. Um, oh, also, perk deck I'm using currently, if you couldn't tell, is muscle, so it gives me a big boost in health, 
and every, I think it's every five seconds, I regain 3.5% of my health. So it's really nice having that health regeneration, even if I start doing really poorly. Um, if I can find a break, I can gradually get my health back up. That's super helpful. Dang it. Alright, I'm just gonna leave them be for now. I'm gonna call my guys forward. I'm gonna start picking this lock. Since I'm the only human player, I'm the only one who completes any objective. So, all these locks are my responsibility at the moment. And granted, in case, you know, you're boasting in your in your own mind. Um, no, I'm far from the best at this game. Um, I, I've, like, hardly been able to do any Death Wish things. Any loud missions, that is. I've done Death Wish stealth stuff. But any loud missions, um, I cannot do. Especially solo, you know, like, on a team, yeah. But... Just pointing that out. I don't know if it's common for people to solo loud Death Wish missions, um, but I can't really do that. The closest I could say I've gotten is, like, with nightclub or four stores, but that's because I stealth my way through as far as I can. And then I kind of just like hide, you know, I cower in a corner and let the AI meat shield for me, that kind of thing. Please let it- No! I think we have to go all the way down now. So I'm gonna try to take out these shields for my teammates here. Because I don't think they have such a hard time with it. There's one more. Oh, sweet! I got a hostage! I have a skill that lets me intimidate a law enforcement officer, and there we go. Got to see it put to use. That whistling sound you can hear is a cloaker? You know, and they can take you down instantly if you're not careful. They're the Sam Fisher kind. Ow. Ow. Okay. Go down. I don't want anyone behind me causing trouble. But yeah, see, I think that cloaker got on. There he is. Bodhi, get up! Another cloaker! Okay, cloaker down. Thank goodness. The cloakers can just completely ruin a mission. Not so much on multiplayer, but single player dealing with the AI. Wow, my aim there. Yeah, they can be really bad. I probably shouldn't have jumped down, actually. They... They have a hard time following me when I do that. Oh, Wolf actually did it! That's impressive. I'm very happy for that. Oh, Dozer! Okay, uh -huh. let's switch to my sniper rifle so I can actually deal with him. I think I missed. There he goes, okay. Uh, did I check this level already for doors? Okay, I think I have to go one more down. Let's call them to me and make sure they're actually coming. Maybe here's one. Alright, I'm gonna hope that they're coming. I'm gonna start picking this lock. Looks like Wolf at least is coming around. Bode, where are you? I need you. Okay, halfway through this lock. Another reason you'll know when you find the right room. Oh no, don't shoot at me. Is because as soon as the door opens, you'll be faced by a killdozer, a black skull. Ah, yeah, there he is. Okay. Okay, got him. Again, if you can get two shots in the head with this sniper rifle, the Thanatos, the Thanatos, whatever, 50 cal, um, they're dead. Okay, gotta wait 30 seconds here. Activate the computer again, and we should be good. Okay. Let's go, let's go. Ah! Ah! I bumped my mic. I was gonna itch my nose, I bumped my mic. We're good. 10 seconds, 10 seconds. I just realized they freed my cop hostage. You can look right beneath, in the top right corner beneath the police assault in progress. Just shows zero hostage symbol. Lower the bollards. We're almost out of here, guys. We are so close at this point. You just gotta go and, you know, signal the driver on the truck. And then we'll just, we'll be about out. Let's go do that. Call him after me. Oh good! And the wave's over. Should get a bit of a break while we're finishing this up. That's awesome. Wolf, come with me. Hey, Bodhi, follow. I don't know if I noticed that before, actually. Wolf, come with me. He seems to be like a up, calling them a lot more calmly now that it's on break. I wonder if that's actually a thing. That's cool. Just 
wait for the truck. Once it's here, we'll remove the armor plating and be on our way. Hellwolf doesn't die over there, though. Try to give him a speed boost by calling him. With one of my skills, if I call my teammates, I think they get a 10% speed boost for a few seconds. It's not a ton, but hey, it could help, you know. Thankfully, since they're AI, I don't need them with me in order to escape. But I like to have them all alive anyway. Yes, okay, so day one of Hoxton Breakout, a success. So these experience points aren't entirely wasted. Um, level 100 is the cap. Um, again, I could go infamous, which is essentially prestiging, if you're familiar with, like, you know, Call of Duty or things like that. Um, but these experience points, since I can't use them to level up, I can still use on perk decks, which, like I said, I'm using the muscle one currently, because, you know, I've liked that. Just having that passive health regeneration is really helpful. In other news, how are you guys doing? I hope you're doing well. Okay, here we go. So the search... Don't, I don't know if I want it. If you want it, you could pause and read that. No assets again. I'm fine with this loadout right here. Um, all right, I'm just gonna ready up and go. There's the entrance. Don't pussyfoot around. Knock that front door down. Fucking nice one. All right, so if you didn't pause to read it, we're breaking into the FBI headquarters right now. I believe it is, and we're gonna try to find Hoxton's case files. And uh, see who the rat is, who ratted him out. And I want to check here, there's a key card here, so I'm going to use it on that door for my escape. Might as well take this package. So I'm just going to leave that. I'll grab it on my way out. And I like to leave it and grab it on my way out, so if I find other key cards throughout this building, I can use them at my leisure. And I don't have to, like, stress out about, okay, how many do I have? Do I need to save this particular one? That kind of thing. So right now there's not a wave going on, we just have the initial shooting everyone who's here. See if I can get a hostage. Hey, stop it! Ah! Wow, actually that response time was quack. Quack. Response time was quack, everybody. Um, let's try to bring her back inside. We got the power box right over there, okay. Come this way, girly. Don't kill my hostage, please. Alright, you know what? This is good enough. Sit down. From what I know, having a hostage increases the time between waves, uh, you know, just a little bit at least. But for every hostage you have, yeah, supposedly, they take a little bit longer. In case you're not familiar with this mission, let me tell you a little bit more about it. Um, or I guess like a little bit. If I can actually play hit this guy. No, 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 no. Okay, we want to protect this electric box because right now we have Hoxton inside and he is searching the computers. We have 80 seconds left on that one. And if they shut this down, first I have to restart it. And then it takes like, I don't know, like 20 seconds to reboot. I don't know, it seems like it takes forever. So basically, point is you just don't want to let cops touch that box. But I want to look around for key cards and packages. Key cards will make my life a whole lot easier in this mission. Got Gotta check again, make sure they're not activating. Switching it off, yeah. Just jumping around. Oh, another key card here, perfect. If you couldn't tell by how many computers were here, we have like that many different objectives. Once he finishes that last computer, um, we get to go. That's, that's the escape. Hey, another hostage. I didn't see you there. So being a master forcer, you know, mastermind enforcer build, um, I have six zip ties that I can use. So I've used two of them so far, and that's not bad. I'll find more hostages along the way that I can take. And I'm sure that a lot of them are going to be rescued, because I don't typically pay too much attention to my hostages once I have them. Like, if I see someone obviously trying to go for them, you know, I'll try to stop them, but... Like that dude. Stop him from taking her. And the wave's over. Having two hostages, again, it should make... Um, the wave a little bit longer. Ah! I actually, uh, I didn't know that this would be the way to go. I was just gonna go here because I knew that there was typically one or two hostages here. Um, so, actually, okay, I guess I'll 
pick this lock. I don't remember if I can shotgun this door open. A lot of wooden doors, if they're just locked like this and you don't need a drill, you could just shoot the lock out. Um, but I don't remember, and since I'm already picking it, I may as well just keep going, you know? So I'm gonna do that. Keep picking this lock here. And because I figure while I'm doing this, the drill's going, I'm not gonna use a key card in this one because I don't know if I'm gonna need one in the future. Like, if that would make it a lot easier. Because I don't know. Oh, actually, there's a key card right here. Yeah, why not? Okay. I always could use a key card in that main room I was defending to shut off or to close one of the doors. But I also don't need to, so. Yeah, let's check in that bit of evidence. If that's what we need, awesome, we can get back to the operations room. Defend Hoxton some more. Oh, did I just shoot my hostage? I did. Dang it. Oh well. That's the trouble being flashbanged, you know. Not being able to tell what you're doing can make things rather difficult sometimes. Find more evidence. The blue clown case boxes. Sprint back in. Ah! No! Alright, here's another one for you to check, Mr. Machine. If you were really impatient, you could use a key card, or C4, I guess, or not C4, an ECM jammer, to open up that middle door, but I don't see the need to. It's not that bad to just sprint from this room to the other one. I mean, I guess, like, if you really didn't want to pick the lock, then you could just, you know, drill into that other one, and then ECM or key card that door to get through. But that just seems like a waste of equipment to me. Oh, oh, oh no! And I got Clover. Come on, help me up, Jacket. Thank you. Ah, okay, fine. One of you pick me up. I don't care who does it, just bloody pick me up. I hate when they, like, juggle... They juggle me between each other. One will almost be done, and then the other one will start, so it just restarts the circle. It's really annoying. And I've lost because of that. Okay, well, thankfully, actually, that was the evidence that we needed. So we can head back to Hoxton now. So I'm gonna do that. No reason to wait around. Hey, Hox, go ahead. Start hacking. Or, you know, searching for files. And she's... Okay, yep. She was freed, but hey, look, I got her again. I don't know if her head through the wall would ruin anything, like if they would be able to free her through the wall. Stupid things have happened before. So I'm just gonna move her down here. That's better. Okay, and you're still there. Good boy. Okay. Um, I have a key card still, and I have this one here too that I could use in the future. Keep that in mind. There you are, tased. Ow! 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 See, I could like try to aim for him even though I'm being tased. With a shotgun from the hip kind of thing. But it works out well enough if you can do it. Good, we get another break. And he has 48 seconds on that. Oh, wow, someone someone tried to get this. They opened it. Closer than I would like them to get. Any snipers out here? Ow! Yep. Got one. <laughs> Pick up this ammo. Might as well. Pick, die. No! Die! There we go. That's poor aim on my part. Let um, me see if I can get you really quick. There we go. Wait, was the taser down? Oh no, see? They turned off the power, so I gotta turn it back on. And he has to take forever to reboot. Uh, I thought we were good on our break, too. Apparently not entirely. As you can see, the computer's all red now. And he was almost done. Ah, worst thing ever. Okay. Yeah. Ah, ah. I, I shot him once already. Let me go. Okay, there we go. Oh, I'm being chased by this one. Someone please shoot him. Oh, oh, I cannot see what's going on. Just gonna reload in the meantime. There we go. Taser down. She's still down. That's good. 
Sniper down. Okay. Yes, got him. Sprinting over, sprinting over. Ah! The sniper there. Oh, that's a dozer. That's a dozer up top. Okay. Ow, ow, ow. My armor's down. Hacking this computer. Let me just got to approve some of the files for Mr. Hoxton. So I can't use a keycard here. I'm going to have, like, surplus keycards. I think I may as well use one later on once I get back to the operations room. Close off a bit of that. One more headshot. There we go. Shield and dozer down. Is that a taser? That's just a dude. It's not exactly advisable to waste, like, sniper rifle ammo like this, but I figure I'll pick up more. So, approved one request. Ah. So they can drop down from like anywhere up there. Or just run down the hallway like this. Oh, is that another dozer up there? I feel like it was. Ah, they got right in front of it. They just ate that bullet. Reload and then answer this. Yep, dozer right here. Let's see. One more hit. Another dozer. I think on overkill, there can be a max of three on the map at a time. I think on Death Wish, there could be four. Don't quote me on those numbers, but yeah. I don't think we're going to have more dozers, though, in the meantime. We got a bit of a break on that. More approved. Take that shield out. Maybe so. It wasn't still there. I was hoping I could get two with that shot, though. In some games, if you reload before your clip or magazine or whatever, I'm not a gun guy, is empty, um, like you waste that ammo, not the case in this game, which I am grateful for, because I, I reload like whenever there's a lull, which is kind of bad with some guns that have like really long reload times. Just something I know that I do, and I think we're good to head back. Yep, we're good to head back now. And see, we just picked up all that ammo. We are not totally good on ammunition anymore, but you know, I'm totally fine with it. So I may as well. I'm just gonna take this bit of ammo, close off this door with my key card. So we don't have to deal with that door anymore. And if I wanted to, I could open the door and leave that way again. Have to worry about people there, the balcony, and then just those two doors. Which is really helpful having the power box back here. Just should mean I don't have to deal with it quite as much. And there you go. Oh no! Just when I was thinking about going and checking. Busy clearing people out here because there was like a constant stream. Oh, and they blew that. Let's see. That was just bad aim. They're right up in my face. What am I supposed to do? You could do it, Hoxton! Reboot, reboot! Watch yourself. Wait, did he actually free this dude? No, he didn't. Okay. One part of the muscle deck, the perk deck, if you didn't know is um, sometimes, I think when you fire a weapon, um, the enemies around you will become like terrified for a minute. So if you see people like cowering, holding their heads and all that, that's what that is. Now, I want to see if I can take another guy hostage. I shouldn't need to because I still have that girl. And then I think the dude in the room over there. I mean, because it says I still have two. I'm just trying to figure out where the other guy is. But it's always nice to have another one. And I feel like they don't focus as heavily on rescuing the cops that are held hostage. I don't know if there's an in-game reason for that. But that's just kind of like a coding thing. But yeah. Either way, I'm happy for it. Because the more hostages I get to keep, you know, the better off I am. Come on. 
Ah, uh, no! Get up! Ugh. Rebooting again. Wow, we're got a lot of people right now. I just know that I'm, like, losing health pretty quickly. Thankfully, I have my armor back up again. I'll just start regening. I just need to make sure I don't get overwhelmed. As long as I don't get overwhelmed, or cloakered, or something like that, I should be okay. This is still good. I think he's still rebooting anyway. Nice. Yep, there we go. He just barely got it back up. Oh, dozer. Right when I switched out for my sniper rifle too. Dozer down. Alright. Gotta get down to the security office. Got it, got it. So down, let's hide a minute, get my armor back up. Are you down? Okay. Now I still don't think he's dead, but I'm just gonna leave him be. Can't see. Okay, better. Just picking up this ammo. Watching for that sniper. Yeah, he like always camps beside that pillar, so good to be aware of. I am not used to that being up here, actually. I'm used to this being, like, behind me on the first floor. So that's cool. Yeah, I'm used to it being, like, in that door. It's weird. I just gotta wait um, a little over a minute. Not terrible. I think the worst part of this is just that I'm subject to the balcony a little more often than I would be down there, I think. As long as I can keep this area clear, it shouldn't be too bad. Okay. I thought I saw a cloaker in the smoke, which scares me, but maybe not. Got the sniper. Okay, 33 seconds. Are you dead? You're not dead. Um, okay, now I'm kind of hurting for ammo. Alright, but running over here helps clear that up a bit. Now I'm doing okay. Still not the best, but okay. I'm at like half of my reserve right now. Full on my sniper, actually, but half on my shotgun. Just take this hard drive now that it's complete. Hey, what are you doing? Just walk past us. You don't even need that electricity anymore. He was so set on stopping us from downloading those encryptions. Okay. Put this in here. Hawkson should be working. Yep, he's working on the last computer now. Once he's done with that, it's time for our escape. Let's see, are they actually coming back? Okay, good, they're both in here. Jacket, come on! You get to watch him, be cool. Woo! Yeah, see, I can't do that. I have to actually be like, okay, go over here, then hit open. And then I have to close it from the other side again. Like, it doesn't just close behind me. Yeah, we can't be as cool. How much is that? 73 seconds. Okay, 73. Missed. Missed. There we go. Already! Bloody heck! Okay, coming. And nope, you're not gonna free her. Right there? No? I'm actually quite lucky that there aren't windows all along where those monitors are. Like our giant screens, you know. here again. I don't want him to keep getting that, you know? Oh! She actually was free, dang it. Oh well. I mean, now that we're at the end, it doesn't matter terribly. Now that we're nearing the end, it shouldn't at least. No, now the bloody- ah! Uh, ah! Uh, worst. At this. Okay. Is that a dozer I heard? 
thought I kind of heard like the sound of a dozer faceplate being hit, but I don't know. I'm just going to assume not for now, and that I'm totally awesome and fine. I'm gonna try to stick around the power a little bit more after I get this ammo. If I can hit anyone! There we go. Okay, grabbing this, running back to the power, running back to the power. Okay, good. We're clear. Yeah, don't you dare. I know what you're thinking. You should not do that thing. How are you doing, Hawks? Okay, 30 seconds. I can I can guard the power for 30 seconds. I'm good enough for at least that, right? Ow! Ow! No! No. No. Power pack. Ah! I was just running back. That sucked. Okay. That's on me, though. That's all on me. We're just almost done is the worst part. So close to finishing with that, and then power's down. Oh, there's a dozer. There's a dozer. Gonna run in here. Using a sniper, I'd like, you know, a bit of distance on him. Okay, he's down. guard this area for a minute. Stay down. Reload my rifle. It's not too necessary, but, you know, I'd rather have all five shots. Okay, time to go. Hey, d again, you don't need to do that. I'm done here. Alright, we get a bit of a break. Let's take the server and get out of here while we have some some room. Better room to breathe. Okay. Ammo's mine. Uh, I think, though, because I have the server, they're just gonna, like, immediately start that way again. Ow! No! Of course, that sniper immediately gets rid of my... my armor. Ooh, I want this package. Might not be the smartest thing to just stop like that, but I wanted it. Ah! Did not expect people right here. Okay, grab the key card. Key card in. And come down. I think at this point I'm good. I've never died once I've gotten down the stairs. Well, that's not true. I've died here, but that's because, like, teammates threw grenades or stuff. Alright, well, there we go. We got the server. And we escaped. There we go. Hoxton break out on overkill. Not quite solo, because I had my AI teammates, but we're solo enough, right? Right? Kind of? <laughs> I don't know how you'd do something like this completely solo, just because of the risk of, again, like a cloaker or a taser getting you. Just something really stupid happening to knock you down instantly. I know that you can counter those, of course, but I feel like a lot of times it is just bad luck, not really a remark on your skill or anything like that. Let's see what I get. I'm hoping for a mask. <gasps> it is a mask! Oh, I already have this, though, and I actually don't love Jiro. I don't know. I don't love the way he just constantly shouts in Japanese. And I like Japanese, too, so it's not that. It's just, I don't know. Don't love him. But I guess while we're here, I will show you really quick. This is my build. It's I'm not saying it's the best build, but it's the one that I chose, with some of these being, like, throwaway points at the end kind of stuff. But, you know, I have all of that, so I mostly focus on getting up to Inspire. I love Endurance. I need that for, like, everything. Um, I've been trying... not that one. Oh, Dominator. This is the first time I've tried Dominator. Things like this. And I have, yeah, as long as I have at least one hostage, I get 1.5% health every 5 seconds. So on top of muscle, I thought that was kind of nice. And then Enforcer, you know, I had up to here Overkill, because that damage bonus with the shotgun is really helpful for me. And um, before this, on all of my other Enforcer builds, I was doing a Tech Forcer, right? I would go Iron Man, you know, with the Improved Combined Tactical Vest, the ICTV, and get up to Bulletproof, where you get your armor increased by 50%, and then an army recovery rate up by 20%, because that just made you, like, super powerful, where you could take a lot. But I wanted to be able to help people up, because I realized how invaluable that was when people on my team had it. Or, especially when they didn't have it, I realized how bad it was. Like, how much you needed it. Um, and then after that, 
little things like, you know, I got this still from Technician, because it's nice, taking 50% less damage while interacting with things. This was just kind of a throwaway, but zoom 100% faster with my sniper rifle. Um, I love fast hands, and Shinobi having that walk speed and crouch speed increased is good. Cat Burglar, at least the first rank, so I take, you know, less falling damage. And then Sprinter, I like to have that one aced as well. This just gives you 5% more damage against special enemies, you know, so shields, tanks, not tanks, dozers, um, tasers, and cloakers. And then over here, Fugitive, the run and gun, again, just for the additional 10 movement speed. And this, I believe, was more throwaway. I think it was just kind of, because why not? But yeah, that's, those are the trees that I use. And again, currently using muscle. I have some points to spend. That's awesome. Um, I'm working on, I'm currently working on filling out Gambler. So that's all cool and stuff. Let's see how far, I, oh, <laughs> 31 points in there, but I'm getting, I'm almost done with it. And lastly, I thought that I may as well show you guys this, because I found out that I actually have a goat drill or a goat safe and a goat drill. I've never opened any of these before, so let's just open this safe. What does this mean? Does this mean I get to pick stuff? I think it just shows the possibilities of things, right? Alright, so I'm just gonna open safe. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, no. I mean, I guess that's not bad, but just seeing the raging goat, the red one, that would have been awesome. I mean, let me be honest, this actually does look pretty cool. It's well used, I guess. So this this reminds me a lot of, of course, you know, the Team Fortress 2 um, reskins that came with, like, the gunmetal update and things like that. I'm pretty sure that's exactly what it's based off of, because it has the drills and the safes, much like the crates and the specialized keys. Uh, but just as far as appearances go, I like this, you know, the, the mix of the black and the orange. I don't really mind that it's well-worn, it adds character to it. Not that I'd mind a factory new or anything, but yeah. So I'd just kind of be interested in seeing what that actually did. Did it Did it take? Oh no, this is the one I got. So I got an uncommon one. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. So I got one of the, I got the third highest, I guess. And with all of the Team Fortress ones I've opened, I always get common. It is terrible. Anyway, yeah. I kind of want to check that out. So let's just head to my inventory real quick. I'll check out my secondaries. You'll see I don't have a ton of weapons because usually I don't um, experiment too much. Where would I find it? Where would I find it? Would it be in special? No. Oh, hey. Did I just miss it? I mean, is it just a particular kind? It's probably just a particular kind and that's like the reskin of it, huh? I'm just not sure where I would look for that at this point. Alright, well, hey, this was Payday 2, guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did enjoy it, please let me know in the comments with, you know, comments, of course. Um, let me know in the video with likes, that kind of thing. Um, because if you want to see more, you gotta tell me that you want to see more. But that's all I have for you guys right now, so with this, we're calling it here. Q Outro, go!